John chapter 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also, and from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me, that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I shall not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me. Because I live, ye shall live also. And that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself in him. Judas saith unto him, Not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away, and come again unto you. If ye loved me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, ye might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh, and hath nothing in me. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. Hey, Shalom. Our praises to you, how Bashem. You have Shai, Bashem, Rekakodash, much mercy um, to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David, all you brothers that that are um, understanding the covenant, uh, growing in it, um, that are of it, and that are figuring out that you're different and that you're special. And that you have something everybody don't have. And that is the understanding of God. And by people just being around you and, and you see the reaction from people that don't even know anything about you and his truth, so to speak. They know that it's something different about you, you know, and, and you felt that your whole life. 
And it, that this, this is that's this is what that was, that you were of God because you can understand God and you have God in you. <clears throat> so you have a different type of life force in you and people can see that. And that makes certain people jealous and envy, envy of it. That's why through your life, you never really fit in. I mean, you would have to be. You know, when you when you was coming up or even in this truth, you know, it's like certain certain of us got uh, kicked out the synagogues or whatever. And we was probably there for a while, but really we didn't never belong there. Like we'd never really fit in. It's just like that movie, uh, Captain America. He said he told he told the guy, he said, I never really fit in. You know, and that's, that's just how we are uh, with this truth. We never really um, actually fit in. But, you know, certain things we had to do to give us to grow and to give us more understanding that we have now. So now we totally understand why everything is like it is, because the Lord actually blessed us to understand him in these last days to help a few men to repent. That's it, because when it's said and done, you're going to have a multitude of our people. They're, they're going to be in the world. They're going to be in camps and groups. They, they're going to be in the world until the end because they're of the world. Just like uh, princes of this world, this, uh, this chapter talks about the princes of this world and they have nothing in me. So the princes of this world, they have nothing in the, in Yahweh Shai. They have nothing in the new covenant. That's why they deny it. That's why guys' names is Shar, uh, 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 Moff, uh, princes. The princes of this world have nothing in Yahweh Shai because guys are of the world and they tell you they're not with the Lord yet. That's why guys look all fucking old and it look like they're all up deaf and shit. But they like to get in front of the camera looking reprobate. Let me let me let me stop. But anyway, um, but yeah, you could clearly look at guys and you could clearly look at guys and be like guys ain't right. Just be just by looking at their ass. <laughs> it's crazy as hell. But everybody want to be seen. And like I'm going to just say this. A lot of people that like to be seen. Their countenance ain't even fucking strong. It's like they they have a weak countenance. And and it looks like they're bothered by something. But they they tell you they like they like to be in front of the camera. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Oh my goodness, man. Like they don't understand. The Lord said his eyes are ten thousand times greater than the sun. So if you're of God, you're gonna be able to have those eyes. Like in Revelations, you have the seven eyes and you have the seven horns. So and that goes into wisdom, counsel, might, the fear of the Lord, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then the scripture tell you that you're going to have the eyes. So you're going to be able to see a, a lot of things guys don't think you can see because guys are only seeing with their two eyes. And that's the thing. Us brothers that, that are not just seeing with our two eyes, we're seeing with, with our mind's eye. And that's why I was explaining when you have the heart of the Lord, then you're seeing this thing on a whole nother level. You're seeing all types of details and shit that guys don't even think you see. And you see it. You see right through their ass. So just like Superman, he could see through walls. He didn't just see what was in front of the wall. He seen through the wall. So just like we don't just see what's in front of us. We see things that's through. We see through things, man. But anyway, what I want to do... I want to go over um, John 14, this whole chapter, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going over some some key chapters in the Gospels and all throughout the new the New Testament, the New Covenant. I'll probably keep this going for a few weeks, but um, I'm gonna be going over some key chapters. Everything is key. What the Lord said, you know. Let me just make that clear. But what you have to understand is that um, certain things have to be broken down in the spirit because we have an understanding guys don't have. They may give you a carnal understanding. That's why guys, when they break the scriptures down, especially dealing with the new covenant, they might have some understanding, but they don't have the full spiritual understanding. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over, you know, certain particular chapters. It's going to be uh, John chapter 14 and we just gonna start from the top and then we gonna flow through it and get through the whole chapter because this every there's a lot of chapters that are really breaking down what the Lord is really saying 
and it, it doesn't say you're waiting on a on a covenant or new bodies. It doesn't mean that, man. Guys that are carnal, that are doing that, they, they have an agenda. That's why they're doing that. But uh, with that, man, I'm gonna I'm get. We're gonna jump into John chapter 14, and we're gonna break down this whole chapter. So what I want to do is um, <clears throat> we're gonna go to. Um, we're going to go to John 14. And try to get through this chapter. So lock you try to get through this chapter um, as much as we can. I'm not going to make this too long. You know, we'll see how far we can get. But I want to go to John chapter 14 verses 1. And go over this chapter, give you a, 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 a spiritual breakdown, a complete breakdown of John 14 so you can have some understanding. Uh, the truth about the Bible is that the, the, the heart of the Bible is only for the elect. So the wicked, they could only manipulate it to a certain point. Um, the understanding of Yahweh Shai and the new heart is, is only for those that are of God. So if you're of God, then you can actually understand. And by your understanding, you just um, you you supposed to read and and pray and make that understanding grow more. And as you grow more, you you, you continue to repent and get better. You know, it's about getting better. You know, uh, over over a process of time. I mean, it's 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 not an overnight thing. Understanding, you know, it takes a little bit. But if you can understand, like right now. Because the Lord said um, Adam was the first Adam, but then now uh, Yahweh Shai is a quickening spirit. Matter of fact, let me read that before we get into this. Because if you, if this is really for you, you're going to your understanding is going to be quickened, and then you're going to be able to understand quickly what you need to do. First of all, you need to separate from groups and their doctrine and their understanding. And uh, repent. Let me read this real quick. So we push repentance because we had to. Um, we came out of the synagogues. We had to repent of all the ways of the synagogues and the thinking of the synagogues and realize that Yahweh Shai, you have to put Yahweh Shai first over everything now. That's how you have to do it. Not the old law first. You have to put the Lord first. And by you being of the spirit, then you're over the law. That's what Paul was doing in Acts. He was actually going out uh, uh, seeking the Gentiles that were of God. Now, they, they were amongst the heathens and other Gentiles. But you had our people that were of God amongst the Gentiles and they didn't need to be circumcised of the flesh. They didn't need to keep the old law of Moses. They just believed on Paul. As the brothers be at the brother be bringing out. That's what Paul were doing in Acts. He was he was teaching the new covenant, um, fishing the men out of of God that were of God that didn't have nothing to do with the old law of Moses. They just believed Paul and the new covenant. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 45. And so it is written. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. And the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. A quickening spirit. So like it ain't going to take you long to understand this new covenant if you're of it. If you're not of it, you're going to be stumbling over certain shit. You ain't going to really like get it all the way. You, you're going you're gonna to have to keep some of the old. You're going to have to be seen. You're going gonna to have to move like camp still. You ain't going to be able to shake the camp ways. That's what we're saying. Like certain guys in the new covenant can't shake the ways of camps. Because in the flesh, they, they have to be seen. That's that's how they feel that they're justified by you seeing them. You see what I'm saying? So Adam was made a quickening spirit. Um, What's that? John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. The flesh profit of nothing. So it don't matter if men see you in the flesh. It, it matters if you're repenting secretly and getting yourself better so the lord knows the election's heart 
he knows that they're going to do what they're supposed to do. So there's no fault found with the election in these times. You got to fix the most important thing is separating from men that are against God in these times. That is the most important thing you can do, because what they're doing by them keeping you out of the new covenant, they're actually keeping you in sin. So you're transgressing by not being under Yahweh Shai. Now, the trick to that is two thirds of our people will cut off from Yahweh Shai. So they don't care about being under the Lord right now anyway. That's why they're like, hey, we're waiting because they don't have nothing to do with it. But you got to figure out if you have something to do with it, if you can understand. John 6 and 63, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. They are spirit and they are life. And that is how you worship the Lord in the spirit and in truth. John 5 and 21, for as the father raised up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the son quickeneth whom he will. So the Lord is not quickening everybody. He's quickening whom he will. And the ones that believed on him, they are justified. That's what Paul says real quick. And I'm going to get into this lesson. Paul what was at Acts 13, one of my favorite scriptures, too. So it's all about believing, man. The most important thing is to get away from guys that are against God. Because these guys are of hell. They are they're making men twofold a child of hell, like it tells you in uh Matthew 23. And also again in Matthew 23, it tells you that the wicked will enlarge the border of their garments. So you don't want to be in no fucking garments. You want to have the garment of Yahweh Shai in your mind. This is what you want to do. You want to have the Lord, you want to have the mind of the Lord. That is your garments. So a lot of guys are naked because they're not in your shy. Do you understand that? They're waiting. So they're naked. And the thing is, the knowledge that guys has, the, the, the scripture tell you that the love of your shy, it surpasses all knowledge. So by you understanding the Lord, it surpasses anything these guys could teach you about. Even the shit of the world. All these prophecies and that shit happen in the world, that shit don't matter. In First Corinthians, in First Corinthians 14, it tells you that um, that prophecies don't profit you um, if you don't actually believe in Yahweh Shai. So that means if you're not really in the Lord's covenant and you don't know the Lord, then you don't. Know, it, the, the prophecies in this time is not going to profit you to know them. Matter of fact, it's going to be worse for you knowing all these prophecies and you're not even of God. Ultimately, it's heavy. So guys got you like backwards in these camps. You have to put your house shy first. That's what Moses told you. So you fulfill the law by doing what Moses told you. So you're not breaking the law by following your house shy. Guys are, are fucking backwards. Acts 13 and 38. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man, your house shy, is preached unto you the forgiveness of sin. So only through your house shy that you, you can be covered and forgiven in this time. You can't be forgiven through the old atonement. You can't be forgiven through keeping the Passovers in the old law. You can't be forgiven by keeping those old Sabbaths. You can only be forgiven by actually believing in the Lord and his new covenant. So you have to understand the Lord and his new covenant. That's why we say repent to the Lord and follow the Lord. I'm, I'm just a follower of the Lord. You have to follow the Lord. <laughs> you know, us few brothers, man, you know. It's, and it's simple, you know, you just got to, the most, the one of the hardest things is for you guys to come out of these synagogues because they have, they have a spell over you. Acts 13 and 39, and by him, all that believe are justified. There you go. You don't need no new bodies. And by him, all that believe. So the ones that believe are justified. So everybody that's not, that don't believe, you're not justified. You're just naked in the fucking camp garment <laughs> it's crazy from which you could not be justified by the law of moses so the lord is justifying you over the law of moses you can't be justified the way the lord is justifying you in this time so he's atoning for you you see in these times he's um the lord is mentioning you in the heavens so like you gotta look at it. if you're really really defending your house shy teaching his covenant against all the hate and all the slandering and all the guys talking shit then the lord is well pleased with that because you're defending his son's doctrine a lot of guys are corrupting the doctrine they're adding to the doctrine they're taking the doctrine you know 
They're they're teaching the Bible for money. They're robbing God. They're teaching false doctrine. I could go on and on. So let's go to uh, John 14. Read a little bit of this. You know, I'm gonna have to read through it. See how much I can get through it. But John 14 and one. It says, "Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me." So it's about believing. So don't let your heart be troubled. You just got to believe in the Lord and just separate from evil. It says, in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go prepare a place for you. So at this time, the Lord is preparing a place for us in the spirit. So the Lord has made room for us in the spirit. In his father's house, there are many mansions. These are places and rooms in the spirit. These are places where a lot of guys cannot go in these times. So you have a place in the Lord. I and you and you, him and you and you and him. I and you and you and me. It says, and if I go prepare a place for you, I will come again. I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may go also. So the Lord is in the spirit. <clears throat> So where the Lord is, that's where we are. We're in the spirit with the Lord. Matter of fact, that word mansion, real quick. Let's go into that real quick. So you got to understand, um, in this time, the Lord is with his friends. He said, I don't call you servants no more. I call you uh, friends. So they were mansion real quick. Strong's G 3438. My name. My name. Right. So that word mansion in John 14. It says a staying, abiding, dwelling, abode. Beautiful. To make and one's abode. Metaphor of God and the Holy Spirit in dwelling believers. Metaphor. Of, of the of the power of God, the Holy Spirit and dwelling believers. So the the mansions that the Lord is preparing a place for you is a place in the spirit. So the Holy Spirit, where is that? At? It's in you. So he's prepared a place for you in your mind, in the spirit. So you're in the spirit. The ones that are of God, they're of the spirit. The Lord has prepared a special place for us in these times. And that's what Revelations talks about. And um uh, they were sealed in their forehead. So you cannot be sealed waiting on the covenant. <laughs> it's crazy, man. You let these guys teach you that shit. It's crazy. It, you know, first of all, you let guys tell you that they're the door. Like the brother said, <laughs> he's like, you let guys tell you that shit. And the scriptures tell you that the Lord is the door. Revelations 14 and 1. And... And let's show you that you guys in these groups, you're totally, you're carnal and you don't have no understanding. You're just in this to be seen. And some of you are making money and a lot of you are just in this to be looked at in garments. It's, it's heavy, but that's just what it is. Revelations 14 and 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion and with him 140 and 4,000. Having their father's name written in their forehead. So that that is where the Lord is. And the Lord said in John 14 that he's prepared a place for you. All right. And that's in the spirit. So that is the Holy Spirit and dwelling believers. Revelation 7 and 3 saying, I heard not the earth, neither the tree, nor the, nor, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their forehead. So that's why you have to repent. So you could be sealed in the mind. So when, when you take a Ziploc bag and you put some meat in it and you seal it up. So you're sealed from the, the, the air or whatever. You're sealed from outside shit. So that's what the Lord is doing. He's sealing you from destruction in this time. All right. That's what that's what's happening. This is what you got to understand. So now when you go back to um, John 14 and 4. 
John 14 and 4. And brother, I go, ye know, and the way ye know, right? So you're going to know which way to go in these times if you're the elect. You're going to understand. It says, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest. How can we know the way? Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Did it say elders? No. It said Yahweh Shai is the way. Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh to the Father but by me. So you have to go through the new covenant. And how you go through that, you have to repent to the Lord in the new covenant, not the old law of Moses. All you guys that are waiting, what you're doing is you're defying the Lord. And because a lot of you are not of the Lord, you think you're waiting on something. But that's just because the Lord blocked you from that. So if you can understand what we're saying, repent and separate from all groups. The Lord said the, that the wide path is the gate to destruction anyway. You have to listen to the scriptures, man, instead of man. Man is corrupt. Man is only using his truth for tithes and offerings. That's the only thing guys are using his truth for. It's heavy, man, and being seen. And they like being seen in garments. They like that. Look all crazy as shit. <laughs> it's crazy. Man. You got certain guys been in this truth 15 years and they ain't never grew a beard. Because they got all this fucking gray hair on their face. It's heavy. <laughs> it's crazy. Guys have five o'clock shadows for fucking decades, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> so they're not even following Moses, bro. You have to save yourself, man. Don't worry about nobody else in these groups. You get out of the group yourself. John 14 and 7. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father. And from henceforth ye know him and ye have seen him. So if you understand Yahweh Shai, then you know God. Alright. That's what seeing is. So guys think seeing is being carnal. No, seeing is understanding, bro. <laughs> There's nothing carnal about the new covenant, man. You can't make the new covenant a covenant where you have to where guys have to see you. You don't have to see shit. Uh, see the understanding and repent. That's all you have to do. The new covenant is not about you being seen. It's about you understanding God. That's it. You'll have many, you'll have plenty of men and um, plenty of men and plenty of women out there that's just going to believe and they're of God and nobody never seen them. <laughs> and you won't, and you won't never see them. John 14 and uh, 9. This is what the Lord said. Yahweh shall I say unto them, How? It says, have I been so long time with you, yet has thou not known me, Philip? He that seen me, he that have seen me, seen the Father. He, and how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Right, so if you understand the Lord right now, then you understand the Father. That's what the Lord was telling Philip. You need, certain guys need to see things. The new covenant is about you understanding the Lord in the spirit and in truth. It says, Believe it thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. The words that I spake unto you, I spake not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Just like in this time, it's not us that are doing this. It is the Lord that is working through us. You see? We don't we don't sit together and put together a lesson. We might meditate on what we want to do the next lesson on. But the Lord, he 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 was working through us, man. That's why we're telling you, you just have to have faith to come out of the groups. Enough faith. If you have a little bit of faith to come out, the Lord will give you more faith when you actually do come out. Then you'll be glad you did. Because guys are in the fuck. Guys are zombies, man. They're dead. And it's, it's, it's idolatry. These camps are full of idolatry. You're not supposed to be amongst idolatry. The Lord didn't get no honor of men. You have to really understand that. So guys that are being honored... They are honoring men and they I they made guys idols. They made guys great. The Lord didn't tell you to be great. It's crazy. Guy said the Lord said take the lowest seat, not to be highly esteemed like Nate. Or to be like great. He didn't tell you to be great. And the and the and the millstone is something that sinks to the bottom of the sea, bro. 
You don't want to be nothing that sinks to the bottom of the sea. And just like, and I'm a, I want to read it too. I want to go back and read it in Matthew, I think it's 26 or 27, when the Lord was put in the cave and they had that big ass stone in front of the cave. This is a metaphor of these of these camps that are stones trying to block men from repenting to Yahweh Shai, because that's what the same thing they did. They tried to put that stone in front of the cave so the Lord didn't want to rise on the third day. That's how carnal guys are. But what happened? The angel moved back that fucking stone. Just like we're moving guys back and helping men to repent. So that's why these camps were set up to block you from really understanding and repenting. So this is what you got to understand. It says, Verily, uh, John 14 and 10, it says, Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. So the Lord that's in us, this is what the Lord is bringing out of us, because the Lord is in us, it's him doing the works. It says, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Right, so don't just believe us. Believe us for the work we're doing, which nobody else is really doing, because a lot of guys are the new covenant. They're full of shit. But it's good. A lot of you guys are teaching. You might say you're teaching new covenant. Yeah, because that let me know that the new covenant is out there. But now you have to decipher everybody and get to where the Lord is really being taught at. John 14 and um, 12, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the work that I shall do, he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father, and greater works than these he shall do. Right, so the greater works in this time is being able to reach uh, more people in a shorter time, or being able to reach uh, more people and being able to have understanding and help man repent unto the new covenant by way of teaching. So we don't have to go all over the world. We're able to teach and this word is able to hit men all over the world. So this is part of the greater works. And plus the Lord said he's not, he didn't judge you, but the, but the, this word is going to judge you in the last day. And the Lord has set us up to actually help judge in this last day. So the word is actually judging guys. And the Lord is using us. We're just a conduit. For the Lord to flow through. But with that I'm going to have to leave it right there. I'm going to come back to John 14 a little later. I got uh, halfway through it. I want to finish it a little bit later. But with that man. Repent to the new covenant. And uh, the Lord will make you understand this covenant. If you actually have faith. And you pray for understanding. With that, man, repent to the new covenant. I'll speak to you, to you brothers a little bit later. With that, hey, shalom.